Hi, it's dumpster diving time again. You can see they've cleared it out, although the chairs do actually uh, multiply fairly quickly. Check this out. It's a uh, A3 color laser copier. It's a Fuji Xerox DocuCenter VC4476, somebody's secondary printer, and I've actually plugged it in here. We do have power down here, and somebody's actually, is this a test printout from it? Maybe, but uh, it looks to be working, and this looks like better than the one that I scored uh, a while back, which I've been using as my A3 color printer, although it's, it's a really pain in the ass. It's not very good to use, so not sure how to use this setup calibration activity report. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, setup. Create folder. Oh god. Oh, this is all too hard. But uh, it boots up. So, oh, error. Error. Something's error. Okay. Clear all. Machine status. There it is. Machine status. Uh, faults. Error re history report. Is it going to print a report? I don't know. Supplies. Okay. It's got some tone left. That's all right. Yellow's not that great, black's not that great, but it's it still still should work. So machine info, uh, print mode, printer settings, machine configuration, paper trace status. I don't know. Don't know what the error is. Got no idea. But uh, services home, copy, email, scan. Oh, I don't know. I think I have to take it back down to the dungeon and check it out. Could be a score, better than the one I've already got. All right, here it is down in the dungeon compared to my previous uh, dumpster find, which I have been uh, using. It's been my uh, A3 uh, color printer. Uh, you know, seen a bit of use, especially for the kids and uh, stuff like that. They want to print something out for school in like A3 color. It's It works, but oh my God, it is a pain in the ass to use. And somehow it's jammed now. I don't know about that. But yeah, I like I have to put stuff on USB stick, bring it down, and then it's got to be, I like, and then it's just horrible. Awful interface. Absolutely awful. So we're going to give this one a bell. Now, um, it did have some uh, paper in it, so I was able to test, and it uh, I was able to print on A4, and it did look good. So I've got some free paper. Do not use here. Um, I don't know why. They've got some more paper in there. Um, there was no uh, paper, but it's got another A3 tray. And I had a couple of spare sheets left in there. So I put a uh, put some a couple of sheets in there. And let's print something, shall we? I've just got two things for A3 there. And uh, so let's do a copy. And 100%. Let's do colour. And uh, let's go plain A3, tray one there. So it does two-sided copying and everything else. So let's just use that. Uh, color, default, 100%, go. Um, error, I don't know what the error is because it did. I was able to get it to print up there. So there we go. Well, well, well. And... It's, of course, no surprise that it actually works because the company's downsizing, moving or whatever, and it's an older printer. They want to get a new one or whatever, but like, let's have a look. Look at this. That is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. The um, S70 Max uh, user manual there. Uh, that's a gigantic laser printer I've got um, in here. I haven't um, uh, assembled it yet because I need like, it's like a meter by a meter or something. It's huge. Um, so yeah, <laughs> hands up if you want to see me uh, assemble that and do something with it. And oh, it's upside down. All the electrons are going to fall out of my uh, microcurrent board. So that looks fine and dandy. That looks like it's a winner, winner chicken dinner. I know these things probably aren't worth a lot and you might be able to get them relatively cheaply but uh, then you've got to, the thing is transporting these things but they have handy wheels on them so I was able to wheel it from the dumpster room down to the dungeon down here. Now I had a quick look online this one seems more modern it supports uh, Windows 10 uh, drivers that seems to have I think it has a Wi-Fi interface so I'll try that. This thing is just absolutely useless as tits on a bull um, <laughs> but it does actually print uh, but it's a pain in the ass. This one could be way more convenient and uh, Windows 10 driver and maybe a Wi-Fi interface. I should be able to 
network connected, uh, perhaps, and then just press print upstairs and Bob's your uncle. But anyway, I'll give that a bell now. Uh-oh, Paper Jam, I tried to print the um, error uh, report for it and uh, it looks like, uh, maybe it's that one that tells me not to use down the bottom. <laughs> that could be it, maybe. So uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have, I didn't ask me which paper to use. So um, yeah, perhaps that's why that's in there, but that's all right. So I'll get rid of that and we'll clear it and I'll get back to you. And there she is. She's come a guts her there. It's uh, oh, oh, how do I, oh. Uh, I'm not gonna, maybe I shouldn't do this one-handed. I'll get back to you. <laughs> and yep, sure enough, I think it's that uh, particular tray feeder. The other one printed uh, fine. And the error history report, it's only one page. And uh, 2021, and these are pretty nothing burger, tray feed out, jam, server not connected. And the latest ones down there, 2023, server not connected. No biggie. So yeah, I think it's a winner. Well, I got the like 700 page um, admin manual for this thing. And on page 322, it gave me the admin login, which was 11111. And I got in uh, color impressions, 188,000. Is that a lot? I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. Uh, color, 117,000. Black. Doesn't sound like a huge amount in the scheme of things. Uh, color, large impressions. So that'd be A3, 39,000. So... 306,000 total pages, done a fair bit, triple five spotted, uh, that's got to be a good omen, so um, yeah, so I'm into the admin, but I'm not sure, services home, do I get more options, no, uh, tools, maybe I get more setup, uh, I'll find, yeah, I don't think these were here before. Now, it didn't seem to have the Wi-Fi module built in, but I was able to connect it up to the Ethernets, and I just went upstairs, and once I set all the auto uh, DHCP uh, stuff and everything, went upstairs and uh, checked, and it was automatically added to the Windows printer drivers. Anyway, um, I printed a test print, haven't looked at it yet, there it is, it popped out, so winner, winner, chicken dinner, and I just noticed something when I came down, it was um, switched like in sleep mode, and when I approached it, it turned on. So watch that little black window over there, watch, there's an LED on there as I walk up to it. Look at this. Watch, 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 it'll turn on. Ta-da! It's got like a sensor thing as I walk up to it, and it automatically switched on. That's pretty cool, but I'm just going to leave it. Oh, well, no, I'm not often going to print, but here we go. Here's the test print. Let's have a look. Ta-da! That looks pretty schmick. Does it not? Wow, and I've confirmed it prints in A3. No wackers. That looks absolute banger. Wow, it's a Bobby Dazzler. Fantastic. So that is a winner winner chicken dinner dumpster find. And when I boot this up, it says uh, copyright 2015. So it looks like, yeah, um, 10 years old, which isn't too shabby. It's done 300,000 pages, but still looking good. Still got some tonal left. They even thoughtfully left some paper in there. So that's fantastic. That's my new, now my new A3 printer. Terrific stuff. Um, does anyone in Sydney want a uh, slightly used BizHub C284E? If you do, send me an email. Um, it weighs like 100 plus kilos, so you'll need like a, a trailer. I can help you lift it on, but uh, I can help you lift it off. So, uh, yeah, um, if anyone wants that, it's free. It's going free. Works a treat. Um, and, yes, they are all those uh, double adapters. <laughs> I still have them. Anyway, still got uh, some like tear downy stuff to do. There you go. That's a wide field vision thing. That's a Humphrey Matrix. It's actually a um, Zeiss, I believe. Um, wide field vision thing. Oh, I've got a few things in here. Anyway, fantastic. Dumpster score. Rate it out of 10 in the comments down below. Catch you next time.